Steve Newman reports on one person already using the brand new system. gonna start with Gigi Hadid Maybelline cushion. Today, I think I'm gonna go for a bright face makeup look. Gonna do a bright red lip. Definitely focusing more on like long lasting makeup because I don't know about you but when it's Chinese New Year, I tend to visit about three to four places per day. So I do need to have my makeup last all day. Then I'm gonna go with concealer using the 3 CD Style Nanda concealer. Just applying concealer like how I would. And I really like this concealer because it's very lightweight, not cakey, but very brightening as well. So you can see how much it brightened up my eyes and my entire face. So I'm just putting it on the high points of my face as well, like this. Then you want to set it because it's super important, like I said, to make it, make sure it lasts. And I'm using Laura Mercier, my translucent loose powder. Take a big fluffy brush and go around across your face. Do also keep on hand a loose powder or any sort of powder because you want to be absorbing the oil and touching up on the go. Then I'm gonna go in with brows. For this look, I was thinking I would do straight brows. I want the look to be very clean and crisp and the focus to mainly be on the lips. So I'm just drawing my brows and making them pretty straight and brushing them out at the front. Then using this empty house color my brows, I'm just going to be lightening my brows, kind of just making sure that they match my hair color, like what I usually do. Okay, then let's move on with our eyes. Nothing screams CNY more than my naked heat palette. So taking this shade over here called Sauced. Taking a fluffy brush, applying it on the entire eyelid, especially on the crease. Then let's go in with this shape. So I'm just taking a little bit, just applying it all across the eyes. Concentrating it at the center of the lid so that you just have that little bit of golden shimmer right there. Then I'm gonna go in with this kind of brush and I'm just taking a combination of He Devil and Cayenne these two shades and I'm just going to be concentrating it at the outer corners bringing it down then we want to be taking Ounce which is this whitish shade and just applying it under your brow bones to highlight it. I like that this is very, very subtle. So. Also, don't forget your inner corners. Just to give it some highlight. It's time for eyeliner. So I'm gonna go with the Etude House uh, Slim Liner in Brown. So this is a gel liner and it's brown so it's very very natural and I feel that brown goes very well with red or any form of reddish tone colour so I'm just applying this very very lightly and very thinly Just 
extending the line downwards. I'm going to be using a shimmery pearl pencil. This one is from Holika Holika. So I'm just going to be lining my Egil Sal, which is the Korean Ibex. Using my brow pencil again, just drawing a little bit of the Ibex out to give your eyes a rounder and more innocent look. Okay, curl your lashes. I kind of like this eyelash color because it's so intricate, but then it takes like a million years for me to curl my lashes. I'm using the Hurry Make Long and Curl Mascara. It's my favorite mascara for Asian lashes. If you haven't tried it, you really, really should. Especially if you're Asian like me with short lashes. This really helps to extend and give it volume. So once this step is done, you want to take um, an eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, and just kind of go in with the eyeliner to just fill in the gaps underneath your lashes to make your lashes look fuller. And then, I like to cheat by drawing a little bit of lower lashes. Time to contour the face using fuller bronzer as usual. So, just going to be contouring the outsides of my face, jawline. Using this, this is the Lasting Cheek One Day Tattoo from K Palette. It looks like this. It is a cream blush that has a very gorgeous orangey look. So smile, apply it right at the center of your cheeks. For that little bit of cutesy look, you can also pop it in the middle of your nose around this area where the sun will hit it. So now let's highlight using the ambient lighting palette from Hourglass. I'm going in with the middle shade which is a pearly highlight. I like this highlight because it's very subtle and pretty natural looking. So I'm just going to highlight my half ones of my face like so. And now it's time for the lips, which is actually the statement <laughs> of this look. So I'm using L'Oreal Rouge Magique and the shade Tropical Sherbet. So it's a very, very, very bright orange kind of color. With any color, I just like to apply a little bit and use my fingers to dab. So you can always uh, choose the lip color according to what you're wearing. So you guys can see that for this color that I'm wearing, this lip color is not super suitable because um, it's just a different kind of red. But if you are wearing like a slightly orangey kind of outfit, this lip color would be super suitable. And that is why I have with me this, the Full Face Full Stick Liquid Matte in the shade Wolf. So it's this really beautiful, dark, deep red colour that I'm applying. And there you have it! 
this look is complete.